Good evening everybody, this is DJ Croft and in this video I'm going to show you something that I found out about my Insta360 Air camera that makes it outstanding. Um, outstanding in the terms that I, 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 for a project that I want, want to start, I needed high quality sound coming directly into my 360 camera. If you check the market there are only like two or three <laughs> good expensive cameras that have a direct input into the camera so that you can plug the sound into the camera etc and then yeah you get the, the most perfect sound. Um, the microphone of this camera is awesome, it works perfect but I don't want the atmosphere for my project, I really just need the music coming from a DJ controller. You can also take an ordinary um, audio mixer with some 268, 20 channels, whatever um, all you need is a master output and connect it yeah, to the camera. But as I said, uh, the Insta360 Air doesn't have such an input and uh, I found out how to root, well, how to, to make this possible so that you have the best sound um, for your 360 live streams or your 360 videos. The setup um, here is in my home office is, uh, I have my computer. And right now you can see in the back, uh, it's running a house electronic music video on YouTube. Um, coming from the computer, I have a so-called TRS cable. It's an ordinary audio cable that um, yeah, has two rings uh, on it. Um, and I plug it into my computer. And then I have uh, the RCA outputs. In German, it's called Chinch Kinch outputs. And these outputs, um, I'm going to connect them with this adapter, making the, the males, these males, females. Hooray! Okay, so now I need, or you need, you need a so-called TRS cable. Remember the one coming from the computer is a so-called TRS cable, left and right, red and white stereo. But TRRS sends a third signal. It has three rings on it, and it looks uh, the other end looks like this. So you have uh, red and white for stereo, and usually a yellow one for video or black for whatever for a signal. What we do now is connect uh, this to the adapter. Here it, oops, here it is, and now I'm going to connect the 3.5 millimeter. TRS cable into the smartphone and then you should hear that music. Before I do that, um, while testing this out for the last few days, I have found several things out. Um, <laughs> sometimes, no, well, as soon as I plug it into the smartphone, the third signal sends a beep to the smartphone starting my Google Assistant. So, uh, as soon as I plugged it in, Google popped up and said, Hey, uh, how can I help you? <laughs> I don't want you to help me. So, um, I always had to close that. Um, and as soon as I went to the Insta360 application and started recording, when I plugged it in, um, it stopped the recording or started a recording immediately again. So, um, I guess this works like a sign on to the application saying, hey, now start or stop um, recording. So this is, a, I, I don't know, for me it's a bug, I don't know, because usually you don't, you don't use uh, these cables for, for, the for the Insta360 app. So um, what I had to download from the Play Store is a so-called hardware button mapper, where I simply deactivated all this stuff. And let's see if it works. <laughs> so as soon as I plug this in, you sh should hear that music. Let's see if it works. Okay, I hope that I'm back uh, hearable now. <laughs> uh, 
hearable. Does that exist as a word? I hope that you can hear me now again um, and that you heard the music before. And this is something that a feature that I would like Insta360 to develop for the one of the next app versions, an, an audio indicator. Because um, as soon as I plugged this in, I couldn't see if uh, yeah if the sound is playing. Uh, I checked my, my computer, the volume is at 4 out of 100, so at 4% and um, you, yeah, you would like, you might um, uh, connect an, a mixer uh, between all the setup so that you know that, um, yeah, how, how loud it really is or not because we don't have a peak sign here on the application so that you really know, okay, hey, is, is an audio signal coming in? And if it's coming in, is it high enough or not? So that would be an awesome feature if uh, the Insta360 app could have something like that, an audio indicator, a level meter. So yeah, that's it. Um, I'm continuing with my project and if you have any questions uh, about the setup or the cables, uh, I think in total I spent something like 12, 15 euros uh, for these. Um, but like always try to, to spend some, some more money on these because yeah, um, the cheaper the cables, uh, the more they might break inside and, and do not work. Um, thanks for watching and uh, I would like to hear from you what you think about or how you would um, use this uh, for your 360 videos. For me it's going to be some DJ sessions but uh, for if you for example are a music musician who plays uh, on the street or if you have a band gig then um, yeah you, you could use your camera this way. It's an incredible, I think it's an incredible incredible camera the Insta360 Air and you could use it for, for live streaming your, your music in high quality sound. That's what I wanted to actually with this and it works out. Um, one last thing, I don't know if this works for the Insta360 Nano. I don't have the Nano, I can't uh, test it out. Uh, but as the Nano is also pluggable into, the, into a smartphone, I think it should probably work. Um, would love to hear from you if it works or not. Happy 360 live sessions. Wish you the best. Greetings from Canary Island. Bye-bye.